so now we're at our wine tasting table. Um, Deanna and Sean are going to have a little bit because they're allowed to. They're allowed to. Yeah, <laughs> and the, our guide said she was doing it at the age of four, didn't she? Yeah, because yeah. she's apparently wait for me to finish. The whole bunch is directly pressed, but just an aperitivo to us. Easy, light, refreshing. Just a bouquet of red, um, pink. Uh, yeah. So we've just been taught never to hold your wine like that so because it warms it up, which we always have it warm in the UK, always to hold it here. And also the lipstick and makeup uh, changes the flavour in it. That and the pink one? Mm. No, not better than the pink, the pink one. The pink one's the best. I think that's just the girl in me. Yeah. Mm. That one's like less like soury like taste to it than yeah one. and then we've got a bucket here that we just pour the leftovers in so it's not recommended that you finish the whole glass it's just to use the aromas and the tastes that's in it as to the complement to the food A lot of places were like only doing three. So I thought that was a good price. The reason we chose this one originally for because all of the ones that we wanted to try, they were fully booked out. And not just that, I think it was like two or three that allowed children, like included the children. And this was one of them. So that was like a plus for us. We wanted to take the children, obviously, because we're a family. And then for the children, it was 18 euros each as well. And then we bought four bottles of wine. We bought two bottles of the £11 wine and two bottles of the £33 wine, which I think was number four and five that we were trying. The wine was really, really nice from there. So the staff were lovely there. The food was amazing. We were really looked after. And it was nice that we had the whole experience to ourselves as well. I will leave the link in the description in case you guys want to go and check our place out. So I arrived at the Rolling Hills and Bendy Roads of Tuscany. And you can see why they are. Look how beautiful this place is. So it's like a famous tourist attraction and everybody comes here for pictures and stuff and um, they just park on like the side of the road up there and this is like somebody's property but it's um, absolutely famous for all of the photographs on Instagram so we've stopped here because we're on our way back up and anyways from the vineyard um, and we're going to take a few photos We'll gonna show you him in a moment we will. And he's watching everything that we were doing. And he's getting like right behind Sean and looking in the van. And he's I think he's pretending to be a car park attendant. Um, so we stopped for a moment and I just started recording on my phone. I got like a video of him. So I was like, this is a bit odd. He's not dressed in any uniform, there's nobody else in any other car parks doing this. And then he came over to you and asked you for what? Some money for something. Well he said something, I was like his hands out. Uh, in Italian, I couldn't understand. But I've seen uh, the parking thing first, the parking machine, otherwise I probably would have paid him the money, you know? Yeah, I think he's the car park attendant. Um, but, long story short guys, it just looks a bit suspicious. And what happened though, because it's the main thing that looks suspicious, as we walked away, two other people of diff from a different ethnic group, let's just put it that way, came over to him, one of the young kids had tattoos down his neck, talking to him, he must have clocked 
and seeing that I had recorded them on my phone and then they, they walked away and as they were walking away they were looking at all the van windows and all the car windows so we were like thinking well maybe our van will be safe closer to the city in a built up area with cameras and stuff um, but we just don't really feel like leaving it here will be that safe and if we go off into the, the city and explore Florence and not feeling that the van's going to be 100% safe we're not really going to enjoy it that much so we've decided to first born Florence come back another time find some car park in a different area um, it just doesn't feel safe does it this is the car park that we're staying in Yeah, but the probably he is the one who's doing all of the suspicious activity around here. So it's the reason why we're not staying for. So we've decided to try Italian McDonald's because the kids have been dying to try it. Uh, not mine and Sean's first try to food, guys. Well, let me tell them guys a fun, a fun story. Yeah. And I heard it twice today. Right, let me tell you guys a true fun fact. When I was in Rome and I burst into the toilet, I went into a restaurant because they had a McDonald's like cafe sign above it. It was called McCaff. Because the McDonald's in the town centre is like in the capitals, they don't like deck them out like McDonald's, they just look like a normal restaurant. So I went to this restaurant and I went, is this McDonald's? And he was like, no, no McDonald's. And I said, oh, could you point me in the right direction where McDonald's is? And he went, oh, I've never been because I only eat real food. And I was like, hmm, that's a bit odd. Like, what, what are you saying that for? But when we were at the vineyard today, um, she was explaining um, about food and stuff, about wine and how like fake food that they, that they want you to eat because it's profitable for all these big corporations and companies. And um, the Italians basically, they don't really eat at these places very much. So I've heard when we've been talking to people, um, they don't call it real food. So there's not real food to the Italians. Uh, but the kids are saying, Mum, Dad, we want to go to McDonald's. We want to go to McDonald's in France. We want to go to one in Italy. So it says we're going to do both. So we're going to do an Italian one. You guys will probably be interested in it because obviously you are from the UK, best part of you guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold on to Mummy's dress. Hold on to Mummy's dress. So look at this, guys. Oh, this looks nice. The pistachio. Right, let's go for language. <laughs> English. There we go, guys. What we're gonna go for? We're eating in tray. What is going for, guys? I mean, this is still the same, isn't it? I think some things are the same. These are a little different. They can also be just different things that are in the UK that we don't know that's in the UK yet. Well. <laughs> Yeah, true. Recording from this very present time in September, guys. Is this a September menu in the UK? I don't think it is, guys. Guys, look. You can get a beer in McDonald's. Peroni. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is the kids' happy meal. It looks pretty good. Can you get wine as well? What other beverages? No, I don't think Peroni, wine. Peroni, Peroni, orange juice. Just, just beer, that's all you can get. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, look at the desserts on here. Right. Yeah, look. Nutella. That looks mm. Nutella muffins. That looks good. Muffins, donuts, tiramisu, chocolate cake, strawberry mm. cheesecake, macaroons. Now that's a good choice. Yeah. It's a good dessert menu. That. Look, we did croissants and stuff as well. <laughs> so cheesecake. Cool. Just looking at the uh, coffees and stuff and see what coffees they do. Okay guys, so that came to 63, 4 EU euros. It's not bad, that is it? That's about our average, isn't it? That's what you came to pay back from. Yeah. They went for... <coughs> 10 chicken nuggets and 10 spicy. Have we Caleb? There you go. Caleb? You went for a double cheeseburger? Someone went for a double cheeseburger. And I think, Sean, you went for that one, didn't you, darling? That's the that's Sean's. It's the chicken um, special, I think. That's yours, Jan. There we go. Let's have a look at this. Looks alright. Interesting. 
As the Italians would call it, not real food, guys. It's not real food. Well, we, we know that it's fast food. <laughs> Well, I've only gotten one, just for the sake of it, guys. I was just going to go up to the restaurant tonight, but I'd be the only one going up. You said you were going to join us, didn't you? You said you'd just wait, but I felt like Stephanie wanted to get a McDonald's, so I was like, right, okay, I'll fold. I'll get a McDonald's with you guys. Um, let's give it a go, see how good it is. The only reason why I don't want to get a McDonald's, well, not that I don't like McDonald's, it's the fact that we're in Italy, and I kind of want to just keep enjoying that Italian cuisine. Um, but... I've buckled under pressure of the kids. The weather has just turned out to be absolutely miserable today. Check this out, guys. It's just absolutely terrible. And then these are the cheesy bacon fries. Super good. Pretty good then. Logan got some as well, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Logan's portion seems a bit bigger than us. <laughs> Doesn't it? For some reason. There's not much in that one. Then Logan went for what did he go for with this wrap? Oh, uh, yeah. That looks alright. So, I've just tried the burger and it doesn't have like American style cheese on it. It has like a um, Italian, Italian hard. A, like hard cheese basically. I don't know all the different Italian cheeses, guys. I'm not that good. Do we're learning a bit of Italian, but we're not that good. I don't know every, every last word. But it's like um, a slice of pepperoni, um, cheese on it. A little dry in my opinion, because when we have a burger back home, it's like it's got American style cheese on it and loads of sauce. And it's got like a bit of a BBQ and like chutney onions on it as well. Um, that's the best way I can describe that. Do you want to try this salsa hot devil sauce? I'm going to feed you, okay? Also, guys, it's thunder and lightning outside. <laughs> that's freaking hot, that is. Isn't it hot? <laughs> freaking hot, Steph. Nice, though. Yeah. I don't like that. I'm going to drink a pop. My tongue is literally tingling. So, guys, I was just saying to Sean, after eating that, I feel very, very bloated and full. Now I've just had a burger and very little fries. But this whole trip, when I've ate out at restaurants and had meals and stuff and starters and a main course, I've never ever felt bloated. I've never felt like this. That is so strange. Now obviously we know that McDonald's is full of rubbish basically, guys. See wow, that lightning? See that lightning. That is Crazy, I'm also just going to build on what Stephanie said there about the food and how it's made her feel. Now, every alcoholic beverage that I've had in Italy, I've had no headache the next day, no hangover. Not that I've been drinking like, to get drunk kind of thing, but I've not felt like like wasted for a couple of days after drinking alcohol. And listening to the vineyard uh, person today, how she was saying how they take all of these things out of it, all of these sulfates and stuff, like the fill other wine over here and in the UK she was saying that like basically a lot of our wine is basically cheap rubbish basically um, she was being honest she wasn't insulting us she was just like saying that like like a lot of the, the British wine is just rubbish basically in comparison to the wine that you'd get in Tuscany in this, in this region so I was kind of listening thinking yeah, okay well, well I'll have to have a little think about that and after thinking about it I can actually say she's absolutely right isn't she Oh, definitely. The food over here is just so clean, 110%, and so is the wine. Um, so yeah. It does taste different, the food over here. I feel like the meat tastes different compared to our meat, and the kids yesterday, they got chicken at the restaurant, and it was pink, and they're like, Mum, why is it pink? Because if it was pink in the UK, we would think that it's like under coupon. Yeah, it was like a duck colour, like it's like a bit like duck, you know, when you get duck from the uh, like Chinese restaurant. It wasn't as dark brown as duck, but it was like a pinky, like. Like, yeah. yeah, and we were saying that it must be like, fed on different stuff. Um, and I don't know if our, our chickens are bleached or not. I know, I think they are in America, like, not bleached for bleach, but like chlorine. They get chlorine on them to take away the salmonella. But um, the chicken over here is completely different, isn't it? I think, like, all the meat tastes completely different. Yeah, you can see why they. Whether or not you like that, because, like, we're not used to it, but yeah. Yeah, you can see why the Italians are, have the biggest life expectancy in the whole world. Um, I think them and the Japan, uh, the Japanese have like the longest life expectancy. But um, yeah, it's just a beautiful country in itself. Everything that it has to offer and stuff. Uh, also, like the hot springs that we were at the other day, my skin felt so like slaty, like like clay afterwards. Um, I did smell of like sulfur for quite a bit and smell of sort of eggs, but I, I didn't shower because I'm not meant to shower after going in. So I felt really good. Like my skin feels so so soft and really good. <laughs> just a beautiful country to live in it's got so many health benefits um the olive oil on that bread today what was it like it was just like 
10 out of 10, honestly. But she said though, even olive oil, yeah. even from Italy, too much of it is bad for you. Oh, all right, yeah, because she was talking about like, if you eat too much pasta, if you eat too much olive oil, or even drink too much wine, um, it's not good for you and stuff. So. Because she was saying that since the age of four, she tasted like wine, like grandma gave her wine. Or At the age of four, wine. she was drinking From wine. At the age of four, because <laughs> just a little is alright, it's healthy for you, it's good for you. That's what the um, what grandma, grandma was teaching her. Yeah. Teaching her. So, so that's like what made us think, she was like kind of saying, you know, they'll be alright, you know, having a little bit of wine. So that's what made us like say, oh, well, yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll listen to that. your advice, kind of thing, because it's like advice passed down from like generations and generations of Italians. Um, so we met, we've met quite a lot of old school Italians, haven't we? Yeah. It's uh, and it's nice to be part of the culture, especially with you having like a strong Italian second name. Um, yeah. It's nice to be part of like the Italian culture and just really feel what Italy's about. And that's what these videos have been about for us. Um, and that's what this whole holiday has been about, just, just integrating into the culture. Um, I kind of feel I've betrayed them a little bit by going to McDonald's, so I, I, de I definitely I feel that. But I wish I didn't. I wish right. I didn't, guys, because yeah. now I feel like rubbish. Like everybody feels way. after you have fast food, but, but the kids love them. Yeah, we've got to do it for the kids. It's just one of them things. But it's just a one-off treat. Next time we come back to Italy, you'll definitely not be trying it because I'll say you've already tried the menu. You're not going to get it again. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get on the road, guys. We're about an hour away, 45 minutes away from our campsite. Um, Florence was a failure today, but it all happened for a reason. It's thundering and lightning outside, like you don't know what. It's like really strong lightning, um, and it's chucking it down with rain. So that will all happen for a reason. We didn't feel confident leaving the van where it was at. I showed you the guy. Um, he was basically what I think, what me and Stephanie were thinking he was doing when we were sitting in McDonald's with a little chat about it. We think that he was trying to get you to pay him. Whoa, I'm gonna have to show you guys it's lightning soon. It's flipping, lighting up the whole sky. Let's not get distracted. We think that he was basically getting us to pay him, so we didn't pay that at the machine. So then, then we get a fine when we get back home, and he gets money. So I think that's what he was up to. And if he wasn't up to that, he was definitely up to clocking up the cars because people were turning up who he was talking to, and they're looking through all the windows that were in all of the vehicles. But anyways, we're gonna get going, guys. We'll catch you guys up when we're back at our campsite. Coop, yeah. Coop, yeah. yeah. So you're best off coming like to a coop where they sell everything. We're going to get one of these each for me and Stephanie. Uh, doubt the kids will be able to handle them. So I think we'll get in something a bit smaller for the kids. Maybe something around this size for Caleb. Um, and then we'll probably get the other two. Should we get four of them, should we? Yeah, get four of them. But guys, this shop is honestly huge. And I've also picked up one of these as well. You've got a little squid in there. Lime, prawns, it's like a real good seafood uh, cocktail. So we've just left the supermarket that you've seen us in guys. Uh, we're just sitting down chilling for the night. It's still raining and thunder and lightning like you don't know what. A little bit daunting, a little bit scary as well at the same time, but uh, an experience in itself I suppose. We're just sitting down now, having a little seafood platter, a little bit of Prosecco. We've got like four bottles of Prosecco for like 12 euros and if you put that on the band card, I think it's about 10, 10 pounds for four bottles of Prosecco, which it's pretty good high-end Prosecco as well. And I'll just turn you guys around and show you guys what we're having. So you went for this Prosecco here, which is an extra dry. Um, really nice, so just have a glass full of it there. And then we've got this one here as well, which comes with this fancy little cork. I've never seen one like that before, so really cool. And then we've also got our seafood platter, which we've got like squid, prawns, mussels, we've got like a fresh lime down there, some parsley, we've got loads going on in this guys, it looks really nice. So we're just going to have this and then get off to bed and then head out tomorrow to the pool, explore the rest of this park. So I'm just going to end the vlog, uh, big thank you to everybody who's watched today's video, we'll catch you guys up in the next one.